Mycorrhiza, the root of things. Plants have lived in community with mycorrhiza for eons. This fungus provides phosphate, nutrients, and water in exchange for carbohydrates from plants' roots. Crops routinely face a challenge absorbing enough key elements. The fungus acts as the plant's wholesaler, using its microscopic supply network called hyphae, hair-like filaments that extend the reach of plant roots and funnel more water and nutrients to plants. Plants alert the fungus to nutrient needs, and the fungus, using acids and enzymes, break the bonds that bind nutrients and prevent uptake. Mycorrhiza start life as tiny spores in a survival capsule. When a plant root grows close to a spore, the plant makes contact, first through a molecular exchange. The spores respond by attaching to the root and wait for root cells to make an opening for the fungus to enter. Once inside the root, web-like threads meander between the cells, heading to the vascular system. These hyphal strands grow out into the soil, increasing the root system. What does the plant fungus deliver? Allows plants access to more nutrients and water from the soil. Protects roots by forming a protective barrier made from chitin on the outside of roots. Increases tolerance to drought and stress conditions. Enhances flowering and fruiting. Reduces weed competition. Agricultural practices are known to suppress biological activity in soils. Fungicides, chemical fertilizers, soil erosion, fallow land, tillage. Even no-till may not preserve mycorrhiza unless living roots from another crop are planted. How does this symbiosis take place? Mycorrhiza is the term used to describe the symbiotic relationship between mycorrhizal fungi and the plant's root system. Through that symbiosis, the fungi and the plant naturally develop and mutually reinforce each other without harming one another. Here are the three steps that explain how the symbiosis between mycorrhizal fungi and a plant take place. Mycorrhizal fungi initially germinate in the soil and make their way to the nearest roots. The roots are then colonized by the fungi and the mycorrhizae are established. The fungi penetrate the root and create an internal network of fungal structures where the plant and mycorrhizae exchange sugars and nutrients. Finally, the hyphae continues to develop outside the roots to explore the soil. Basically, mycorrhizae form a network of fine filaments that associate with the plant roots to draw nutrients and water from the soil that the root system would not be able to access otherwise. So how do you return them after they have been lost? Well, the seeds of these fungi called spores are placed near roots. And active roots cause the spores to germinate and penetrate into the root system. Mycorrhizae form structures where both the plant and the beneficial fungus can exchange food and energy. These mycorrhizal filaments radiate out into the surrounding soil and form an elaborate web of tiny absorbent threads. These access nutrients and water that are tightly held onto soil particles. The fungus transports nutrients and water back to the plant to fuel its growth. And like a cotton ball, this extension of mycorrhizal threads efficiently absorbs fertilizer. This reduces nutrient loss and pollution of groundwater, lakes, and streams. In agriculture, the ability of the crop to access water in the soil is a key to performance. Roots are too thick to access water that is tightly held between tiny soil particles. Tiny mycorrhizal threads can absorb water in small spaces and transport that water into specialized structures in the roots. Mycorrhizal fungi act like a sponge beneath the soil surface. The crop benefits from increased access to soil moisture and protection against drought.